I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For this morning's meditation, let's turn to Proverbs 27 verses 7. The full soul loatheth an honeycomb, but to the hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet. This word of God that says one who is full despises honey. But to the one who is hungry even bitter food tastes sweet. is true both physically and spiritually we all are aware of the old saying that the best ingredient for a delicious food is hunger for a hungry person even a normal piece of bread tastes so good that we all have experienced it in our lives on many occasions the taste of the food that we eat when we are hungry is so delicious that it cannot be expressed in words but it still remains in our memory On the other hand when a person is full then even the best cuisine in the city will be of no use to him that's that is why the poor always thank the lord with a sincere heart for the tasty food that is before them but the rich who is not satisfied with the food that is set before him still looks for varieties that can satisfy the taste buds but forgets to give thanks to the lord who has given him the food in abundant mercy the people who have everything in abundance never value the blessings that god has given them they despise it and it pains the heavenly father a lot we all are very happy to hear the incident where our lord jesus fed the 5000 people with five loaves of bread and two fishes but have we ever noticed and learned an important lesson that the lord did after the crowd had left The Lord asked his disciples to gather all the pieces that were left behind. There were 12 basket full of food that was left. The Lord taught them to value each piece of bread that the heavenly Father has given them. Let it be a lesson for us also. Many a times we are not careful and waste a lot of food that the Lord gives us. When we are not faithful in this physical food, will God ever entrust his spiritual treasures in our hands? As we learn the word of God let us rectify the mistakes that we commit and be thankful and more responsible in our lives. Let us value each small blessings that the Lord has given us. Just like the children of Israel who never valued the food that God provided them but murmured and lusted for the food that seemed tasty for their tongues they could not eat the food they desired because the judgment of the Lord fell upon them. Let it never happen in our lives. Let us be thankful with whatever things that the Lord provides us and remember those who even don't have anything for them how blessed we are let us not be greedy for more and displease God through our words and actions let us also teach our small children to give thanks for the food that the Lord has provided and then feed on it now let us come to the spiritual aspect of this message To enjoy the sweetness of the word of God we need to have the hunger that even our Lord Jesus mentioned in the beatitudes blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled to grow in the lord and to attain the perfection of that heavenly nature in us we need to have that hunger for the word of God to know the lord more and attain that divine knowledge lord jesus and his words will be sweet to us only if we are hungry spiritually that is why mary when she carried the lord in her womb blessed and praised the lord god and said he hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away the sadducees and the pharisees who had lost the hunger for good things could not even accept the miracles that the lord had done while he was ministering on this earth they were after the lord jesus just to find the mistakes in his words and acts but at the same time the disciples who had the hunger for the divine things followed the lord even when the teachings of the lord seemed tough for others and the people following the lord began to leave him and walk no more with him as they found the teachings of the lord so hard to follow lord jesus told his disciples also to leave him but they replied to whom shall we go as you have the words of eternal life with you And the words of Lord Jesus was bitter for the crowd it was sweet words of eternal life for the disciples do we also have the same hunger for that eternal life just like the disciples did if not it is high time for us to analyze our spiritual lives we may be 
in the faith for years, but do we have the hunger to know the Lord more? Look at Paul, the minister of the Lord, who has written the epistles that contain immense treasures of divine things. Still he says, I want to know the Lord more. He's still hungry to know the Lord. Then look at our lives this morning. If we have that satisfaction of fullness in our spiritual life, then there is a danger that we are missing that freshness of spiritual life. But we will end up being filled with spiritual pride. Lack of hunger means that we are sick and we need to work on that immediately before we die spiritually of that disease. Let us not hunger for the blessings of the Lord, but for the true words of God that will provide eternal life to us. The more we learn the word of God, the more we will realize we know nothing. Our hunger for the Lord and His words will remain in us till the end of our journey. So these days, let us pray to the Lord to give us that hunger so that we may grow in the Lord to perfection and our lives be pleasing to the Lord, bringing glory and honor to His blessed name. May the Lord help us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time that you have given us. Thank you for your precious word. Thank you for speaking to us, Lord. Lord, help us in these days to have that spiritual hunger, to know you more. Lord, if there is any who has lost that appetite for the word, Lord, we pray, help us to find out the reason so that we may overcome our shortcomings and delight in your precious word. Feed on it and grow stronger you in you and be a blessing for your name. Thank you, Lord. We give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.